Bevis can't be happy about what you've been doing to the distillery's business. You got Carl's attention. He's back at the Sweetwater Distillery. Any idea how he'll react when I go in there? He's bug shit crazy swamp people. How do you think he'll react? Still, might be worth keeping him around. No one knows the bayou like he does. Oh, you one for this, Nikki? Damn right you do. Bevis is waiting for you. Real interested to see how you handle him. I need resupply and point for done. Going at you. Hang tight. You spot anything you can use? Show me what you got. Okay. You happy with that? See you later. Send someone to Point Verdun to pick up my cash. Be there soon. What can I take off your hands? Better not lose this. Bonsoir, Shay. That looks like trouble. Is that poor son bitch even breathing? Am I imagining things? <laughs> what the hell is happening there? Devil's cutting our pay don't work for me. He's out tens of thousands of dollars in liquor. Huh? I'm ducking down! That's him! Let's go! Cover me while I reload! This ain't fucking Get funny. behind him! <laughs>
have the whole team! That's a nice piece you got there. Open up, bitch! You about to get fucked! to come here. Getting out of the line of fire! You got nowhere to go. I gotta find a
Emptied out the distillery. It's primed and ready for your boys. Overstall standard. My boys are on the way. Snatch that slaughterhouse from him, and that fuck Barbieri will have to react. Thomas Burke came to the States as a boy uh, when his father fled Ireland, likely because of his involvement in the Irish Civil War. Um, after his father died of a heart attack, uh, Burke started running booze to support himself. I mean, he turned bootlegging into an entire industry, and Sal Marcano took notice. Uh, Burke worked his way up the ranks, but could never be made because he wasn't Italian. Let's just stay out of each other's way. Give a better gift you could have given an Irishman than this place. Slancha. I'm in a mood to get stinking drunk tonight. Yeah, and I told her I'm Catholic, but I'm not that Catholic. <laughs> not that Catholic. Funny part is, I just talked to Greco a couple days back. Dumb motherfucker didn't see it coming. And that's why this here is the perfect gear. Low stress, decent pay. You don't want something better? I mean, Greco is, was, right fuck up. Would have the balls what are you had in You have to respect that. Oh, hell, in this business, this life, you keep your head down or you lose it. That right there is...
Hey, bro, you hear that? Something's bad wrong. I swore I heard something. Gonna check this out. We got trouble, boys. Some shoes more comfortable than these. Oh, fuck nuts.
hairs on my neck are standing up. Sorry, son. I, I, I double-checked myself, and we're still down 16 Gs. 16 grand. Christ. Boy, it is. Barbieri's pissed us all fuck. Hoyt might send some men around. Screw that fat fuck. You know, I saw him pissing one time. His dick's about two inches long. Can't respect a man with a tiny dick. Little dick or not, we still owe him a lot of money. I'll figure something out. Huh? We're down. He's got me pinned! Give that stupid son of a bitch. You could be the Bratwurst King in New Bordeaux if you work for me. How's that sound, Sonny? Sure. I kind of like working here anyway. Good. Burke's boys are gonna reach out. Slaughterhouse is clear. Send your people. Hey, don't worry about the bodies. My boys will know what to do about them. Everything's in place. The butcher's on his way. Time to put that rabbit dog down. Lincoln Clay convince Thomas Burke, Vito Scaletta, and the woman known as Cassandra to work together. He called a sit-down. He told them to meet him at an old plantation house in the bayou. When he had them all in the same room, he laid out how they were going to take down Marcano. Lincoln could be very persuasive. Heard many a horror story about the things that went on between these walls. Now we get to make some of our own. What's this all about? Getting ready for some company. Barbieri should be here any minute now. Barbieri's coming here. So he claims. Never known a man to be a liar. I <laughs> just got off the phone with him. I told him if he wanted to settle up, he'd be here waiting. For fuck's sake, Burke, you don't ever tell your enemy when and where you're gonna set up ah, the Ah, Christ, you're much too serious about all this. It takes the fun out of it. Besides, that's the worst that could happen. You could get us all killed. Aye, that I could. It's all right. It's just Nicky. Butcher and his boys are right behind me. You sure? If there's one benefit to being your miserable daughter, it's not know what a posse of Dago assholes out for blood looks like. I'll call them out with a spotlight on the water tower. I loaded up some barrels with a special petrol mixer cooked up. 
scatter them across the yard. A bullet will take them out. So don't be close to them when they blow. I'm gonna snipe those guinea fucks from the crane. You, head up to the roof. One last thing. You try to cut and run, they'll plant you myself. We clear? I'll see you when this is done. You might. You all right back there, alas? What's that? My die asking how I'm doing? Whatever have I done to warrant such fucking concerns? Ah, oh, shite, girl. A simple yes or no would have been fine. They're coming from the left! Your time is up, motherfucker. Oh. These gobshite sons of whores don't stand a chance. Get around him. I don't give two fucks about Burke's little pet nigglet. I want the mick alive. Got it? I'm gonna give him an ass fucking. He's never gonna fucking forget. Bring him back fucking alive, that cocksucker.
Found something. One good pound and I'll make a real one out of you, mister. Don't stand a chance. He's hammered. Should have saved a bullet or two. The Negro and the Mick working together. Fuck me. I never thought I'd live to see the day. What can I say? Brave new world. So I then. I see the legs still giving you fits, huh, fucko? Ah, oh, fuck you. You won't be so cocky once they take the acetylene to you. Fuck you! What do you think happens next, huh? You're gonna die, motherfucker. You're gonna hold next to me. You, your whole organization. You're gonna suck my dick in hell. You all right? Grab his legs. Time to get him into the garage. We were never able to reconstruct precisely what happened to Barbieri, primarily because his body wasn't found until the mid-1980s. The Army Corps of Engineers was dredging the bottom of the Mississippi River, and his remains were found in the trunk of an old car. Both legs were broken so many times there was barely any bone left. Since the lonely are sleeping, go sleep there with him. You already finished with Barbieri? Barbieri? No. By a long shot. Already told you. Day slow. As for you, you show up like Lazarus himself. Name thinking of myself. This chalky bastard is either. One of the luckiest sons of bitches that's ever lived. Or the kind of man that invades rotten, damn luck. So goddamn sure it was the latter. <laughs> I have to admit, I was wrong about you. You can thank me by calling me by my name. Die. Blinking it is, then. It was funny. Things get taken from us. We convince ourselves we go out and inflict pain on someone else. A little man that's busted up in eight of us. But it doesn't, does it? It done. Spent my entire goddamn life scratching and clawing at anyone who came along. 
Even if they were there to help. <laughs> the world fucking got me. It's the sense changing. <sighs> Only way is forward. Now that Irish Point is back under your control, I'm gonna need you to bring in as much money as you can. Uh, Going after Marcano ain't gonna be cheap. Uh, and I imagine you'll be wanting your cut of the proceeds. That's right. <laughs> Can't say I'm a fan of someone looming over me. But it deals it. I asked Nikki to manage those moonshine runs, but she can't bring them all on her own. That liquor hauls in a fair amount. We'll talk to her. She's around here somewhere if she ain't out quail hunting. Quail ain't in season. Oh, for her kind, it's always in season. <sighs> now. Oh, fuck. You'll excuse me. Oh, I've got to see Mr. Barbieri. He's probably getting a little lonely. <laughs> lonely. Dunn gets any more, Mickey, they're gonna have to paint it green. Might as well pick up some bread while I'm out. You think I forgot what you did? You can blame Marcana all you want, but it was your men who ambushed my us. My men were following orders. We got rules. Not my fucking problem that you people don't understand. Yeah, anymore. well, I'm about to make it your fucking problem. This shit is this time. Goddamn. If it ain't the city's favorite pot-licking donkey, Thomas Burke. The fuck did you just say to me? Put the gun down, Burke. It's gonna take all four of us to bring down Marcana, so I don't want any more of this stupid bullshit. Bring down Marcana? These two used to work for Marcana. And this one? Do you know how many of my men this canard killed because Marcana told him to? Fuck him, and fuck you if you think I'm ever gonna trust him. Hey, these get the two. fuck out, Dan. There's no sweat off my ass. You don't trust him? Good. Because I don't trust any of you. But that doesn't change the fact that I destroyed Barbieri's operations, killed Doucette and those other redneck motherfuckers, and saved Joe ass from Greco's men. So here's what you need to decide right fucking here now. Either fall in line or get the fuck out. Just know, second you step out that door, your name's getting added to my list right beneath Marcano's. Now, if we're all done acting like goddamn children, let's go over the plan. In order to bring down an organization the size of Marcano's, we need to eliminate the people at the base and work our way up. It's the same thing I did not. <laughs> I know the military filled your noggin with all manner of tactics and schemes, but let's not overthink this shit. See if we go out to his house and shoot him. Shouldn't take more than an hour or so, depending on traffic. And what you think gonna happen after? Everybody else just gonna lay down and die, you stupid ass motherfucker. Fuck Cassandra's man. right. Just killing Marcano doesn't get us anywhere. One of his brothers will take over and we're right back where we started. So, first, we go after his lieutenants. 
Then, once they're killed, we seize their territory and move on to the Capos. Once the lieutenants and the Capos are killed, Marcano will be isolated and alone. And that's when we go after him. Hold on, what happens to those territories we get from Marcano's guys? Once it's in our hands, I'll decide who gets to run the day to day. I give you a district, you get the rackets and everything else. But I'm also counting on you to hold it. Keep that bastard from reclaiming it. One last thing. Y'all know that building that's going up across the lake? Hmm? It's building a casino. Marcano's constructing this so he can go legit. All his money's tied up into that thing, so once he figures out what we're up to, it'll limit his options. More importantly, it's an emotional attachment. Emotions make people irrational, greedy. So that's where we hit him. Right in the goddamn heart. Hey, nice speech. Think they bought it? Don't care. They're all too greedy or pissed off of Marcano to back out now. At least until one of them decides to try the crown on for size. Well, if it comes to that, I'll handle it. The photos were a nice start and all, but I'm gonna need some actionable intel on those lieutenants. A place of business, where I can find them, you name it. The dossiers are nearly complete. I'll be ready to move when you are. I was also able to recruit some concerned citizens who are more than happy to share what they know about Sal's coalition of WAP assholes. Information on how to contact them will be included with the other intel. Appreciate it. Sure you don't need a ride? Oh, I do my own driving. Ooh. And the uh, systematic killing of Marcano's capos and lieutenants, that was part of the plan. Well, you're in playing fucking patty cake, Christ. Look, you want to bring somebody down, you destroy the foundation they're standing on. It's the same basic op we ran over in Nam. Hey, Lincoln, come pick me up. There's something we need to talk about. This about Marcano? No, it's something else altogether. Just get here. All right, see you soon. You ever heard of Enzo Conti? Think Sammy mentioned him a time or two? He's 61, old school mob. Been running Barclay Mills for decades. He started off exploring the railroad and moved on into industrial waste. All the heavy construction equipment and supplies for the casino, 
steel, concrete molds, that kind of thing, was all brought in via Enzo's trains. All that shit has to be worth millions. Enzo didn't just hand it over to any cat who walked in the door. Marcano's a felon, so he's got to have a partner, someone who's legit. If he does, that person's buried deep. I went through the paperwork. It's a goddamn maze. Which means we need to get Enzo to tell us who it is. According to my sources, Enzo's not a big fan of the casino. Thinks anyone who's not Sal Marcano's gonna end up getting fucked. So I might be able to use that to flip him. Probably have to squeeze him pretty hard, but it's worth a shot. He's still involved in the railroad and has to store all that industrial waste somewhere, so I'd start there. Once I take his district from him, I'll give him a call from the motel, off him and out. And if that fails, you could always give him a Hanoi hangman. <laughs> <laughs> Look who it is. Good to see you up and breathing, Connie. <laughs> well, fuck, man. He got kind of crazy when you was taken over the warehouse in River Road, but I got out all right. Heard you know something about the Barclay train yard. Yep. This is more independent like between the two of us. That friend of yours in the nice tan suit figured you need eyes and ears on Pete Santini's shipping operation. What's Santini up to? He's the protection man here in Barclay. You want to see whatever you put on a train end up where it's supposed to be? You got to pay Pete's people. Sounds kind of small time for one of Marcano's outfits. Give the man a prize. Ever wonder why this city's got so many guns? Marcano and Enzo got Santini running them. You bust up them deals and you put the hurt on Pete's business. All right. I'll see about getting my hands on that map. Be seeing you. You know the drill. Lean on Santini's people, see what they got to say. Could never get into moving guns. You could do real time for that shit. Good afternoon. What the fuck you doing back here? Bit of live chicken. I think he's over here. Couldn't have gotten far. The hell? All right, I'll keep an eye out. Huh? Jesus. Huh? 
I ain't giving up that easy. Got a dead guy. You see this guy? Bingo, bitch! Everything about Santini's smuggling racket. Mr. Santini's been doing some small-time gun sales. I, I, I know where he's been stashing the money. You run with me now. Somebody there? Let's do this! 
Guess he's long gone. Where'd he go? Maybe you can find him. I wonder if he's over there. Huh? Someone took this boy out! He didn't just vanish. He gotta be here somewhere, boys. I wonder if he's over there. One of our guys is down. Guess he's long gone. Tough guy, now it's my...